two more questions. So let, let's before going to our uh, two more questions, kindly complete your one more homework I was sent. And if you have any doubts, you can comment on the YouTube page. All right, let's close our eyes before going to our class. Let's pray. God kindly provide your knowledge and wisdom to solve our mathematics problems and our daily life problems. Thank you, God. All right, let's move on to the first question. We go to the first question. Suppose we throw a dice match. First one, what is the probability of getting a number greater than 4? What is the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 4? I already said in the concept. And these are important problems for your board examination point of view. Let, let me start, let me uh, check the first one now. So here first one. Alright, here it is. Dice of comes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So number of total number of outcomes is equal to how many here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can get this total number of outcomes are 6. Total number of outcomes are 6. So then what are the factors? Number greater than 4 is equal to we can write here. 5,6 this both both are greater than 4 so number of outcomes so number of outcomes is equal to 2 same method number is less than or equal to 4 is equal to less than or equal to 4 means which which number is 1, 2, 3, 4 so write to 1, 2, 3, 4 so number of outcomes number of outcomes is equal to 4. So this is about first. We have to complete this. After completion of this, this is your first one. Probability of an event greater than 4 is equal to favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. So here favorable outcomes are how many are there? So you found them 2 and total number of outcomes are 6. So 2 1 is 2 3 is so 1 upon 2 is probability of getting an event greater than 4, getting a number greater than 4. Then probability, second one, probability of an event getting a less than or equal to 4. So less than or equal to 4 means favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. Here how many favorable outcomes are there you found here? 4. So right here 4 upon total outcomes are 6. Now cancel it to 2 is 4 to 3 is 6. So that is 2 upon 3. So now what is your answer here? So probability of an event getting greater than 4 is nothing but 1 upon 3. Less than or equal to 4 is nothing but 2 upon 3. That is about your first question. So let's move on to the second. One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of card. Deck of 52 cards, calculate the probability that the card will be an S and not be an S. So, now first, I already learned uh, will be an S in the introduction class, but let me check back again how it is going to be solved. So, your solution in that you are first one, we can write it as total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes. That is equal to deck of cards that is equal to 52. So total number of outcomes is equal to deck of cards is equal to 52. So now what are your favorable outcomes? That is ace is equal to 4. So the number of ace is equal to 4. Now what is your probability of getting an event as ace is equal to Favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. Favorable of 4, total 52, so 1 is for 13. So 1 upon 13 is your favorable outcomes. So now how to find that not an AS? So you are getting B of B plus B of not A is equal to 1. So this is for your second one. So according to that we are going to solve one. What is P of E here? 1 upon 13. P of not and it is A is not. 
so that is nothing but v of v not a is equal to 1 p of 1 upon 30 p of e plus p of e not a is equal to 1 now here it is uh, 30 is there in the denominator so to make uh, this as like fraction subtraction this one I am writing as 13 upon 13 when I cancel again I get as 1 so now here plus 1 upon 13 is there send that same what you are going to get so p of not e a c is equal to 13 upon 13 minus 1 upon 13 so we can write 13 upon 13 minus 1 upon 13 then like fraction subtraction 13 minus 1 upon 13 so we can write it as 12 upon 13 so that is about your probability of not an is so that is about your second question let's move on to the third all right next question a bag contains lemon flavored candy so if you only take so one candy without looking into bag what is the probability that an orange flavor candy getting an orange flavor candy or lemon flavor candy see it is clearly mentioned in your question that bag contains only lemon only lemon flavored candies so only lemon flavored candies so first one there is no orange flavored candy in the bag so the property of an event orange flavored candy is equal to zero and it is which is impossible event so now let's move on to the next one that is your uh, second a lemon flavored candy so now here you know without looking total bag is consisting of only lemon flavored candies so that whichever money it takes that should be a lemon flavored candy so now i can write the second one it is probability of an event lemon flavored candy lemon flavored candy so that is equal to so it is one because it is certainly it is going to be get and so that it is certain event so that is about your third question so let's move on to the next question fourth one it is very easy a box contains three blue two white four red marbles if a marble is drawn at a random from the box what is the probability that it will be a white getting a profit of getting a white getting a blue getting a red marble so first one here we can write the solution so total number of outcomes total number of outcomes is equal to 3 blue 2 white 3 plus 2 plus 4 then we get a 6 6 plus 3 9 so total number of outcomes is equal to 9 now what is probability of getting a lot so Is there so now you can write 
least at least one head is equal to three. So now what is the probability of an event at least one head? At least one head is equal to five outcomes are here three. Total outcomes are four. That's what three upon four. This is about your probability of an event at least one head. So these are about your five problems. Let's uh, discuss remaining problems in next class. May God bless you all. Alright, let's move on to the sixth problem. A cartoon consisting of 100 shows of which 88 are good, 8 have minor defects and 4 have major defects. So 8 has, and 4 have major defects. Johnny a trader will only accept the shows which are good. But Sujata, another trader, will only reject the shirts which are having major defects. One shirt is drawn at random from the carton. What is the probability that it is acceptable to the Johnny and it is acceptable to the Sujata? So it is, uh, problem is lengthy by observing but it is easiest one. So let's move on to the first one in this. So what is first one? Thank <laughs> you. 